Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Ping Pong, which is a free tool for hosting online polls that you distribute to your students and that they can answer on their mobile devices or in their web browsers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the web app here. So from the teacher perspective, here I'm going to be a host. You can see I'm already signed into my account. Let's start Ping Pong. Now one thing to note, your students will need to know your room code, which in my case is rburn5. And the nice thing about this is that when I created my account, I get to pick my own room code, and the room code will be the same for all activities that I run now and in the future. Now I'm going to have my students do a simple multiple choice question. Now as you can see here, the question doesn't actually appear on my screen. So I'm going to have to either write the question on the board for my students, project it in a separate screen, or simply repeat it a few times with the answer choices. Now from the student perspective, they'll go over here and they can use either the Android app, the iPad app, or the web app. And they'll select guest. They'll put in the room code up here. They can put in their name and log in. Now you'll see right now it says waiting for the host request. So here is the host. I'll just refresh this. And now my students have their answer choices here. They selected B. Okay. And now here on my screen I can see 100% or one person has selected B. Now I can end that activity. What makes ping pong really neat though is the option to do an image based response. So perhaps I ask my students to sketch out the answer to a problem. They can select send image. And so here in the student perspective, now they have this option to send in an image. And they can go do something like this. They can write in their answer. Now, obviously, in the web app, it's a little more difficult than if they're writing on a tablet, whether that's Android or iPad. And now they can submit their response. They can see what they just submitted. And then here's the teacher. I can see what they submitted as well. And I'll end that response. So that's a short overview of ping pong. It's a great option for doing a quick, simple poll of your class through mobile devices or through your web browser. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.